This is going to be our February Savvy Club Challenge, and it's a very easy task. It just might not be simple. So the challenge is you must mount your horse with big loose reins and then sit there for 30 seconds without your horse walking off. So George does a really good job when he goes to mount. He has his eye on her eye and he doesn't lose contact. And then he politely sits down in the saddle. And then you can clearly see George's body is not going anywhere. And Salsa is keeping her feet planted, which is really, really nice. So you want to make sure you can do this in a nice controlled environment first. And then you can test to see if it's kind of a trick or if it's communication. It's time for trick or communication. So now we're headed outside. And again, just like in our first homework assignment or our uh, challenge, when you take your horse into a new environment, things might change. And this is where you can really see if what you've been doing is more of a trick or if it's communication. And if it's communication, you can do the things necessary for your horse to understand to stand still. So here again, and, and just like inside, uh, Salsa had her head to the outside while mounting. And a lot of times your horse might do that if they're given the choice to counterbalance your weight as you go to mount. So here you can see she kind of walked off. And I don't know as if we've actually ever asked her to do this before. We usually just get on and go somewhere. And there's nothing wrong with that. But you just want to make sure that you're the one that's asking them to go forward. So if they do walk forward, you just pick up the reins, put her back, and then drop your reins again. Give her the responsibility to maintain gait, maintain direction, and look where she's going. Right now, the maintain gait is stand still. Don't go anywhere. You're also going to be observing the horse and notice what happens before what happens happens. So that last time, Salsa kind of looked a different direction and then she walked off. There again, she changes her balance and then walks off. And George does a great job of just putting her back. You don't need to get mean or mad about it. You just put her back and you can see her mouth um, lit her lips there were kind of moving a little bit and she licked and chewed. And then right after that, she had committed to standing still. This is really good stuff.